So welcome back. Um, I guess happy Valentine's Day. President's Day is coming up. Uh, Black History Month. And uh, needless to say, <laughs> this is uh, just a quick review of my new tripod and fluid head system that I just picked up recently. Uh, the fluid head was primarily to replace the uh, G06 that I actually purchased like a year ago that kind of failed on me. Um, and because I've actually changed the equipment that I shoot with and now it weighs more, I kind of wanted something that was a little sturdier to be able to hold the A7 III, the uh, cage, as well as the Ninja Atomus. And what I decided to get was a tripod called a uh, Kayer BV25LH. And uh, actually it was a company I'd never really heard of. I read the reviews, I watched some videos about a couple of guys that had it. Um, there were actually two I was looking at from this company. Uh, one in particular was made out of aluminum, and then there was this one that actually uh, has uh, carbon fiber legs. And it was a little bit more. I believe the aluminum one was about 125, and this one cost uh, 179, so not that much more. Um, there were a couple of key features that I liked that honestly I thought because of the price point, um, I wasn't gonna be able to find anything that was even comparable to it, and mainly, because most of the video tripods that I found that had the 75 millimeter bowl, uh, they were like $3,000 if you wanted um, carbon fiber legs. So I just figured if I got the actual sticks and they work fine, even if the fluid head that include, was included with it didn't do well, I could always replace that with maybe another fluid head like the MVs or something like that that actually has that same diameter bowl. But so far, been pretty happy with this. And what I'll do is I'm actually gonna zoom in on the actual product and we'll go over some of the key features that it actually has. So bear with me for a moment. Just trying to make sure the Sony doesn't pick up my face with this awesome tracking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is raise it up just a tad. And it's very easy to do this. There's these knobs on either side that really, you just release them and then drop them down and then you just torque it right back down. So as far as build quality is concerned, um, these knobs, everything here seems like it's made out of a, like an ABS plastic. For instance, like right there, when everything else is either metal, aluminum, that's what I should say, and then the legs are all carbon fiber. So if you look here, you can see the carbon fiber weave. Um, it holds approximately 13 pounds according to the website that I bought it from. I'm actually gonna move around here a little bit so you can have the product in front of you. A um, Couple of key features that I actually really like. Number one, there are, or there is a Manfrotto plate on the top here that actually comes with um, a couple of different screws. So what ends up happening is there's a little button on the side you push and then you have your uh, 3 8 screw and you also have your one and a quarter. And the cool thing is my cage actually has both. So I have two points of contact when I attach my gear. The other neat feature really that's associated with the plate and I'm gonna need to actually tilt this forward just a little bit. As you can see, there is a little button or a pin right here. And what that does is it kind of serves as a safety. So once you press that button in, it slides over. And what that actually does is once you press the plate in, it locks it. And I'm gonna demonstrate in a minute, but one more thing else I wanted to show you was the, uh, there's an arrow also. So it shows you which direction. The plate, which has an arrow as well, right there, should actually go. So you slide it in and then it's locked. So in the event that you forget to torque it down, that pin is actually what's gonna serve as a safety. So now you can tighten it down and then we'll start, I'll kind of, actually I'll switch around to this side. So on the very side here, on this side I should say, there is a knob and that's the knob you're gonna use to either lock down your tilt or to release it. So right now, I have it backwards, but it's, there's an arrow to tell you which way to lock it down. If I had a camera on here, you would see um, that it wasn't moving. But one of the little things I, I noticed that once you unlock it, if you were to have it tilted up, it will actually go back to being level. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, if you have gear on here and if it's biased towards the front of the back, it's actually probably gonna go more one way or the other. But once again, you can just lock it down again. 
on the opposite side, you're going to have, of course, that same knob I was referring to for your Manfrotto plate. Um, not much else. And then actually over on the same side where you have the knob to lock down your tilt, there is also the Manfrotto release. There's a uh, quarter, I believe that's about a quarter. I have to look at the screen here. But if you need to attach additional, um, like a uh, magic arm or something, you can actually put it here. Uh, and then let's see, on the back here, there is another knob and this knob will actually allow you to, to lock down the panning. So if you don't want it to pan, you can do that. So one of the kind of strange things about this tripod is if you purchase the aluminum version of the tripod, then the handles, or I should say it came with one handle, and that handle was carbon fiber. But if you purchase this version, the carbon fiber version, it comes with two handles, but they're aluminum. I don't know if that was a cost savings thing or not, but I just assumed that the cheaper one had carbon fiber handles. This one would also, but it doesn't. Um, but one of the things I do like about this one is it actually comes with a handle that is actually adjustable. So you can actually release it and then it can, you can slide it out to wherever you need it to be. And you'll notice I actually orient my handles a little bit differently. Uh, generally in, here in the studio, if I'm uh, shooting, I actually like to have one in the front and the rear because I might be in front of the camera and it's easier for me to move the camera in the front versus trying to reach behind it or mess with my rig in order to do that. But if I'm out on the side or if I'm doing some sort of job, um, then they're usually oriented towards the back. Uh, right now, I've only used this to shoot a couple of YouTube videos and it's, it's doing all right. Um, I do have a gig coming up where I'm going to be doing shooting some martial artists and I'm curious to see how it performs. Of course, I'll keep you updated. Another neat feature that I really, really liked, and the aluminum one did not have this, was the bottom, the legs or the feet, I should say. What they do, and I'm going to have to release these a little bit just so you can see what I'm talking about. So the feet, they actually, you have a non-slip surface path there. You know, great for a flat surface, but in the event that maybe you're out and, you know, you don't have a flat surface, you're in the dirt, grass or something, you can actually just pop these out. And then there are spikes on the bottom. So then that way, if you wanted to stick them into the ground, maybe it's soft enough, you can do that. So I thought that was really neat. And just to have that versatility. And then as far as putting them back on, it's just a little rubber grommet. You just pull on it and then they go back on fairly easily. I'm going to put this back up to about where I think it should be. All right. Pop this guy back over. Like I said, um, so far, so good. Been pretty happy with, uh, with it. Um, once again, I've got to get it out and use it more just to kind of see how it holds up. I think really just for the tripod alone, it was a pretty good deal considering what else there was out there to choose from. Um, and even if the fluid head doesn't necessarily hold up, I would be okay with replacing it with something else. Um, the only thing I'm probably going to add is if you actually look kind of in the middle there, there is a leveler and there's only one. I'm going to add another one. I actually prefer to have more than one. So I'm probably going to attach a few. I think I actually have some. I'm going to kind of put in different areas on the tripod versus relying on the camera to tell me when it's level. Um, but I think that's about it. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, click like, subscribe. And I think until the next time, Agent Fit signing out.